find fractions. We haven't done this yet, have we? I mean, this year. Somebody want to tell me multiplying fractions is simply put as what? Easiest thing you can do with fractions is multiply them because you just do what, Aaron Murray? When you multiply two fractions together, you let's say you've got five eighths times one half. When you multiply fractions together, you just do what? Yeah. All you need to do is multiply across. In other words, boom. Five times one gives you the new top number. Eight times two gives you the new bottom number. And five sixteenths gives the answer. Please also know, also know that this comes up a lot with fractions. When you see the word of, John loves when I do that. But when I see the word of, that means what? It kind of looks like it's bleeding, doesn't it? Yeah. Kind of. Of means to multiply. <laughs> so, if I asked you what is half of three fifths, to get that answer, it would just simply be one half times three fifths of means times, and you end up with three tenths. Not much when and on all that. What about if you have a whole number times a fraction? What if it was five times three fifths? What if it was five times three fifths? Chase? Um, you make a fraction by putting a one under it? Yeah. You always make whole numbers fraction by putting a one underneath of such things. And then when you multiply across, five times three is 15, and five times one is five. Which, of course, turns to three, right? Any issues, problems, concerns, happiness, sadness, joys, pains, playfulness? Uh, the other thing they're going to ask you to do is to reduce, which it seems to me we've done, have we not? Yeah, we or have reduce. 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 If you have a fraction such as 9 over 12, How do you reduce that? Honor by. Well, you always want to try to divide by the greatest common factor. Not that you have to. You can always divide by a common factor, but you always want to try to divide by the greatest common factor. For example, 9 and 12, I could divide them by 1, but that's not going to get me anywhere, is it? What is 9 divided by 1? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, does it? What other common factors do they have? Zachary? Zachary, 3 divided by 3 divided by 3, and you end up with 3 fourths. Can anybody tell me why that works? Why am I allowed to divide both the top and the bottom by 3? Picture? Yeah, but why does that work? Um, Sophia? Yeah, but why does it work? Yes, that's the best reason of all. Because of this. What is if you make three over three, if you have three over three as a fraction, what is that? One. What happens anytime you divide something by one? Okay. It stays the same. So what I've really done here is I've taken nine twelfths, divided it by one, 
which doesn't change it, it just makes it into different numbers. 9 twelfths divided by 1 would still be 9 twelfths, so this has to equal 9 twelfths, because all I did was divide it by 1, or a fraction that equals 1. Don't worry, you'll get it sooner or later. Now, 18 over 24. Here's what I said. You always want to try to divide by the greatest common factor, because you could divide this by 2, but if you divide it by 2, you're going to end up with 9 over 12, and it still isn't divided as much as it is. Then you'd have to do 3 again, and you end up with our 3 fourths over there. Whereas if you were to divide it by what right off the bat, Sarah Grace, not 4, because 4 doesn't go to 18. If you were to divide it by, Aaron, 6, you get 18 over 24, and divide it by 6 right away, you'd have gotten 3 fourths right off the bat. But we divided, we did a lot of reducing fractions last year, so I'm not.